What is going on my family? This is your boy Demetrius coming back at y'all with some more of this Virtual Fighter 5 Ultimate Showdown talk. And right now we are going to talk about my main character Lao Chan and the special stance that he has. And we are talking about the cold case stance. Um, the cold case stance is a very, um, a very potent stance. It's a very quick stance and it's also a stance if you use it correctly. It will make Lao an even more deadly offensive weapon to his opponent and it can be a lot for your opponent to deal with if it's used uh, properly. So uh, we are going to get into this uh, right now because this is actually a, a, a actually a demand from a lot of people on how to you know how to handle coke and use coke so we're going to get into this right now. So the first thing I want to start by saying is when you are using Lao and you are trying to incorporate Coke and getting better with Coke, um, one of the things you have to understand with Coke is that Coke is a stance that you are really not supposed to allow your opponent to see the stance, if that makes any sense. Uh, Koke is a stance when you go into the stance you have to strike quick fast in a hurry because the reason for it is when Lao goes into this stance Lao is totally defenseless he cannot block he cannot sidestep he can only move backward or forward and he can't really move backwards he's super slow backwards but he has a forward dash which basically um, expands his offense but when you use coke you have to make sure you strike quick fast in a hurry you cannot be in this stance for long because if your opponent sees it Lao can get launched guaranteed wise for heavy damage so i want to get out get that out there first when you first use coke and try to incorporate and get better with it it's very important that you do not allow your opponent to see this stance and <clears throat> what i mean by that is Lao has different ways that he can go into Koke stance from uh, executions. He's got the uh, 2P plus K and then you go from uh, 2P plus K into P plus K plus guard and you go into Koke. He also has 4P plus K into P plus K plus G into Koke. And he's got a couple of others as I'm showing right here. Now, the most important thing you have to realize that uh, Lao, when he goes into Koke on block, Lao is plus three right here, with the exception of uh, PK. Lao can also go into Koke after uh, after PK. If you press P plus K plus G after PK, Lao can also go into Koke. But the difference here is that Lao is minus five on block if you go into Koke after PK. So uh, me personally, I actually recommend not going into Koke after PK. He also has a uh, neutral KG, which he goes into Koke uh, by default, which is minus one. So that's a uh, somewhat uh, safe move. Um, it's really more advanced when he goes into uh, K plus G into uh, Koke. It's a little bit advanced. But as I said earlier here, uh, Lao is plus three when he goes into Koke after two P plus K and uh, four P plus K into Koke, which is P plus K plus G. So uh, if you are trying to uh, set your opponent up or utilize Koke, that would be the best way to shift into Koke, especially on block because he is plus three after that. Now, once you are in this stance, uh, Lao has like probably about eight to 10 moves uh, when it comes to the Koke stance. It does not seem like a lot, but these eight to 10 moves that Lao has for this stance is more than enough to uh, go up against any type of opponent and any type of character, any type of weight class. And what I mean by that is uh, each of these moves um, can neutralize your opponent one way or another, whether it be uh, taking down a blocking opponent with the guard break or frame trapping opponent or catching opponent in a fail evade or whatever. He even has a hit throw in this stance. So even though he has eight to 10 moves in this stance, it's he's got it all in those eight to 10 moves. So what we're gonna talk about first is once you are in this stance, 
And like I said, you know, it's important to gain a, a, a time clock in your head because like I keep on saying, you don't want to be in this stance for long. So if you are going up against a an opponent that is, I guess you can say that is aggressive as, as far as uh, attacking and pressing buttons and uh, you go into coke, whether you go into block positive or go into block on hit. Uh, Lau has things like he has a string here. He just has a, a normal PPP string that he can use. And one of the things about this string is that the first P, which is punch, the first P of this string actually crushes lows. This actually crushes lows and temporar temporarily uh, staggers your opponent. So if uh, your opponent is trying to sneak in a 2P or a 2K, uh, this uh, neutral P from Koke stance here will crush that. And as you can see right here, the red basically saying that it is a, a temporary stagger. But if you go with the second P and then the third, it becomes guaranteed. This is guaranteed and you will get guaranteed damage out of this if you continue the string after you catch your opponent uh, sneaking in a low attack. Uh, you also have things for a blocking opponent. Like I said, if you go into code K positive, which is plus three, and you see your opponent blocking, uh, your opponent is going to have to continue to block. But if your opponent blocks for a good amount of time, uh, you can guard break the opponent and you can get uh, guaranteed damage off of that, on a, off of a blocking opponent. And also, uh, like I said, Lau also has a couple of frame traps from this stance as well. One of those frame traps is a 3P launcher from Koke. Uh, this launcher here is a frame trap that catches lows as well. So if your opponent is trying to sneak in a, a 2P or 2K, and if you can throw out a 3P here, uh, 3P frame traps and catches that and you can get a launcher for a uh, big damage off of this uh, 3P from Koke is also a guaranteed launcher regardless. So uh, If you hit your opponent regardless of counter hit or not this uh, this is a guaranteed launcher here um, so I, I want to talk about the uh, the forward dash that Lau has because this is really important because like I said Lau can't block so this forward dash is important to where if you are going up against an opponent that is either back dash savvy or is sidestep aggressive, this forward dash is definitely important because what it can do is if your opponent is trying to get distance from Koke and if they see you going into Koke, they will probably try to back dash it. This forward dash, Lau can immediately get in their face if they're back dashing. Look how quick this is. He can immediately get into their face. And then on top of that, if you are going up against an opponent that's sidestep aggressive, so this is more advanced here, but you can actually use this forward dash to get the opponent to um, fail evade. And then if you can get your opponent to fail evade because of the quickness of this dash, you can capitalize off of it with the launcher or anything else with things like a hit throw. Or something else so that is the importance of the forward dash it can catch a back dashing opponent and just get right in their face and probably you can get a, a good deal of damage get a good attack off of them as well so that's why the forward dash is so important when Lau goes into the stance for uh, opponents that either like the back dash or sidestep so uh, you just gotta um, you just gotta be aware uh, what your opponent likes to do in a situation like that if they're constantly trying to back dash you uh, You know you can use that or if they're sidestep savvy You can also use that but like I said before in the coke stance um, if you go into the stance positive uh, The opponent still can sidestep you and Lau also has a move for that. He has a full circular um, That he can use for an opponent that is trying to sidestep the coke if they anticipate it uh, You can use this uh, to stop the sidestepping and then you can actually you know uh, If you got a good setup game and mix-up game You can keep the opponent on their heels and you know from then on there it becomes a guessing game And here is some real-time in-game footage on how you can use the coke stance to uh, Overwhelm a aggressive back dashing or sidestepping opponent or an opponent that blocks when you are in coke stance so this in-game footage here 
uh, pretty much is the real deal when it comes to how to explain on how to uh, overwhelm your opponent with Koke. So my family, that is what I have for y'all today as far as Lao Chan's Koke stance. And as I said before, it is best to be as stealthy with this stance as possible, meaning that you must not let your opponent see it in order for this stance to be very, very potent. So let me know what y'all think in the comments section below about mastering Lao Chan's Koke stance. If y'all have any questions or anything like that, put it in the comment section and I will definitely answer them. And make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe to y'all boy for the hottest Virtua Fighter 5 Ultimate Showdown action content and tutorials such as this. I will be bringing out more tutorials and actions such as this in the future. So be tuned for that. And basically, uh, you know, stay safe. God bless. I'll get back at y'all in the next video. I am out. Peace.